what we know for sure is that a lot of car makers in Europe are having issues and Volkswagen is right at the front of that. Um, there is overcapacity in Europe. Car sales never really returned to uh, levels before the pandemic. EV sales growth is slowing and we have new competitors like Tesla, like some of the Chinese entrants that make their life difficult. So, um, you know, it could very well be that uh, one or even more factories uh, will have to close. Stefan, talk to us about that Chinese competition. Give us this because there's no Chinese cars to speak of here in the U.S. Talk to us about how it is in Europe. Yeah, uh, of course, in the U.S., uh, the Chinese can't really make an entry because of the tariffs there and the, the trade tensions. The EU has answered, uh, as you know, with its own set of tariffs. But, uh, um, you know, the Chinese car makers have started to expand here in Europe since early last year. And uh, the big brands, BYD, uh, MG, which is now owned uh, by a Chinese company, Geely, but, but also some of the smaller ones are offering electric, but also combustion engine cars at, at discount prices. So they're really um, you know, producing very cheaply in China and selling um, at a quite affordable and competitive, competitive price here in, in Europe. So, you know, they're making inroads. They represent about 10% of new sales. So a significant, uh, you know, competi competition already. And uh, they have plans to expand more, produce locally even. So, yeah, it's only going to get uh, more intense competition here in Europe. What I don't understand is the, my impression of just working in Europe is that unions really rule the roost. I mean, will unions allow this? Like, what, how, what, what's that dynamic? Yeah, it's a it's a difficult to, dynamic uh, to say the least. Um, unions will fight this. That's obvious. Um, they will try to sweeten any deal. Um, you know, no company in Europe that has uh, a major uh, union presence will be able to do this on the cheap. Um, so Volkswagen will have to pay sort of considerable, uh, um, you know, payoffs to any any workers it will let go. But of course, unions also understand that the European automotive landscape is changing, um, that labor costs are relatively high in countries such as Germany, but also Belgium, where an Audi plant might go. Uh, so it's a fine, uh, fine line that they have to, to walk, but uh, for sure they will not uh, uh, go down easily on, on this front. And, and there's, there's going to be hard negotiations to come in the coming months.